Hi, thank you so much for joining us on this special edition of Breaking New Ground, the show that tells you how the Department of Human Settlements is restoring our people's dignity by providing them with quality homes. Today, we are covering the Govan Beggy Awards out here in Cape Town at the International Convention Center. These awards recognize the excellent work being done by men and women across the country to deliver quality human settlements. Today, we see officials of the Human Settlements Department out of their offices, away from their desks, rubbing shoulders with some of the people who deliver their mandate best on the ground. Pel Mudiadi is on the red carpet to speak to some of them and the minister. With me right now is Ms. Mafu, who is the Portfolio Committee Chairperson of Human Settlements. How are you doing, lady? I'm good, I'm good. And how are you? I'm well, thank you. You look snazzy. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> These are awards. We have to look snazzy. Right? It comes once in a while. Oh, is this not you every day? No, 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 no. Most of the time I'm in my gumboots, oh. checking on provinces on whether they are doing their work. Which province is it for you that you think has done very well in 2015? You, um, from our oversight, I, I, I can tell you, safely. Pumalanga is, is not doing badly at all. Yeah? Mm. Pumalanga is not doing badly at all. Eastern Cape is not doing badly at all in terms of their targets. Free State is right on the track. Our province that we still need to more nurture and look at is Limpompo, mm. but they are improving from the last financial year, I yeah. have to say, yeah. Okay. But for me, Pumalanga is really doing well. What is it that you're looking forward to the most from tonight? Well, uh, I should respect all the rules, but certainly, as you know, Houten, we are the city of gold. Yes. And with the leading economy of the country, uh, most provinces are going to find it very difficult to compete with Houten. So my advice to them is uh, they must come and just have a, um, you know, uh, of the record discussion with us. We can advise them on how to modernize, <laughs> transform and be the best. Now you're known for the work that you do, but obviously the fashion sense does come across as well. What inspires the fashion? I, I have no idea. It just feels good to look good. <laughs> it does. It does. Yes, it does. It's a girly thing. Yes. 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 That's, I love that a lot. It is the Governor Becky Awards tonight. What is it that you're looking forward to the most? Well, I'd like to see um, the construction industry together with my officials and anybody else who's in the built environment uh, uh, sphere enjoy themselves. Yes. I'd like to see those people who are getting awards appreciate the fact that we um, acknowledge that yes. and uh, spur them on to do better. And perhaps uh, we will have less trolley work in our right. industry. <laughs> that would be amazing. Thank you so much. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Same to you. I hope you're joining us. Hey, I am, definitely. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Are you confident that your province is going to walk away with something tonight? My, my province is the best province. Um, in fact, all those who have been nominated are already winners in my eyes. So we're looking forward. I mean, um, we are all part of the Human Settlements family. Yeah. And, uh, you know, may, may the best province win. And, and you think which province is the best exactly? Obviously, the Western Cape. <laughs> I mean, that goes without saying. Well, we'll see about that. All the best. All the best. Good luck for tonight. Thank you very much, Pam. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2015 Govan Beggy Awards. After years of struggle, 1955 marked a turning point in the history of the country when our forebearers crafted and adopted the Freedom Charter. The principles contained in it are the heart and soul of what we strive to become as a people. It foregrounds the very essence of what we live and work for, houses, security and comfort for all. Facilitating the creation of sustainable human settlements and improving quality of household life is our mandate. But ensuring that every man, woman and child lives their everyday life in a safe and secure home is a calling that we have chosen to answer. Safeguarding our people's dignity requires determination to deliver with excellence. It means refusing to take no for an answer, pushing hard against all boundaries, being stickless for details, and most of all, demanding the very best from ourselves and those around us. These are the core values that the late Gavin Beke stood for. Mr. Changana, thanks for taking time from this wonderful occasion to speak with us. Uh, and for, of course, coming on Breaking New Ground. Uh, the viewers are very interested to know the background to the awards and 
what, how they came about and what they aim to achieve. Thank you, Eric. Uh, thank you for having me here. The, the awards are about uh, celebrating excellence. Mm -hmm. They are about demonstrating good work in the built environment, not just in human settlements. Mm. And we could not uh, think of anyone else to associate excellence with other than Omgov. Mm. And he's written a lot of books about human settlements, about housing, about accommodating poor people. How has the award evolved over time? Post 2004, when Minister Sisulu took over in 2004, she started talking about mixed developments. She started talking about your N2 gateway, your Zanemvula, your Cosmo City, your Oliven. These are all mixed developments which are closer to amenities, which are closer to transport interchanges. Um, and this, again, is about saying we will deliver economies of scale. That's fantastic. <clears throat> Enjoy the awards. We want you to miss any of them as they come through and thank you for joining us on Breaking New Ground. Thanks a lot. Thanks, yeah. Eric. There is clearly a sense of pride in the work done and no shortage of confidence. Let's see who takes it away after the break. In order to become winners, the Govan Beggy Awards nominees go through a rigorous adjudication process. Mr. Philip Chawoke is the chairperson of the adjudication board uh, for these awards. Welcome to Breaking New Ground. Thank you, Mr. Min. Could you take us through uh, the adjudication process uh, that these guys go through? We've got a um, uh, first round, uh, which is called provincial awards, where in each of the nine provinces has to uh, run their processes under our supervision as the national department. So once they've got their number ones, uh, those number ones, after the launch of their provincial round, then they, they are entered into the national uh, competition. We then take them through evaluation. The evaluation committee uh, evaluates all the number ones in each particular categories across the provinces. That team also visits those projects to validate what has been claimed about those projects whether they've delivered according to what has been claimed in the report itself, whether the units are there and issues of impact, whether people are, uh, have got units that they are able to live in. What are those things that you look at and you say, he has a champion? Well, the, the best criteria is the best province. If you look at the quarterly performance also throughout the year, financial year, you'll find that that province shall have been consistent in, in delivering at best. Uh, and, and so the evidence is, is, is out there for everyone to see mm -hmm. that there's no favoritism. This province shall have done excellent job and it's something that gets agreed by everyone. Thank you for joining us here on BNG. Thank you so Hope much. Hope you enjoy the awards going Thank forward. Thank you so here. much. <laughs> it is clear that the adjudication process distills the cream of the crop. Now the most exciting part of the night begins. We get to know the winners. What is wonderful to know is that every person who walks up onto that stage is deserving of the award. This part of our program announces and deals with the awarding of the Governor Becky Awards, which celebrates excellent performance amongst provinces, and human settlement stakeholders during the past 2013 and 2014 financial year. Our first category for this evening, Best Social Housing Units. The nominees for the Best Social Housing Award are Avoca Hills, KwaZulu Natal, Stian Villa Complex, Western Cape, Fairview Link, Eastern Cape, and the winner is Fairview Link Eastern Cape. What was the most rewarding thing about this uh, project for you guys? I think for us as uh, Amizi Housing, we're um, a young social housing institution. We've only been in existence for three years. So we've set the standards in a very, very short space of time. So within three years, we got to where we were and have won this award. What does this mean for you personally? 
Yeah, I can world. only think of it's just one of the contribution towards of providing decent housing to our people in the Eastern Cape. And particularly uh, for those uh, people that we have not been able to, uh, to reach out to. And the fact that now they are being brought closer to economic opportunities and all other social amenities. That is what uh, makes us feel uh, proud about this project. Best Community Residential Units Emton Jenny Hostel, Mpumalanga Shalima Ridge, Gauteng Province Q Town, Western Cape Ladies and gentlemen, the winner for Best Community Residential Unit is Q Town, Western Cape What does it mean to you to have this tonight? It means a lot. Uh, Q-Town is an old residential area. Um, it's about 60 years old. And those flats were very old and dilapidated and decrepit. And um, once we moved the people out and moved them back in, they were very pleased at what we'd done. It wasn't just the building that we upgraded it, but we upgraded the community. Mm. And we gave people back their dignity. And in so doing, we generate another group of people who are going to become responsible citizens. Best Finance Linked Individual Subsidy Vlierhof, Gauteng Province Pelican Park, Western Cape And the winner is Liu of Gauteng What does it mean to you guys having this? It means a lot to us. You know, we put a lot of hard work into these projects and it's actually very nice to be recognised mm. and to win an award for a successful project. When you win something like this, you feel like you should win more? Correct. You yeah, feel like you should do the same like over? To the habit of winning, yeah. Yes. It keeps you sharp, keeps you on your toes. Best accredited municipalities. And uh, the winner is the Hibiscus Coast Local Municipality. What do you think made you the winners? Well, I think it's, it's a, a lot of hard work and dedication to achieve this. What does it mean for the future? I think it serves as an inspiration. It inspires us, it inspires the officials who are doing the, the groundwork, and it inspires everybody in that municipality to do more. Best accredited municipalities. Best uh, accredited municipality for level two is Umshatuze municipality in KZN. Best accredited municipalities. Best accredited municipality level two, category C, is ZF Ngao District Municipality, Northern Cape. What's the most rewarding thing for you about this? This is a, an effort of a collective which strive for, for, for service excellence. You know, our district municipality has been on our road to, to ensure that we are the best there is. We've been getting clean audits for the past two years and we're looking forward to having one again. As a woman, I must say, this really is a very huge achievement because, you know, this is a male-dominated fraternity and it's very difficult for, for us to really be taken seriously. Well, and this thing tells me that somewhere, somewhere, someone is taking us seriously finally. Thank you. Yeah. Best non-subsidy contractor. Achisane Construction, Northern Cape. Anati Property Investments, Eastern Cape. Dan Acker Projects, Northwest. And the winner is Dan Acker Projects, Northwest Province. The second winner is Achisane Civil Construction, Northern Cape. You came in a tie, no? Yeah. We, Does we that lessen the joy? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It actually shows that uh, there's good work that has been done out yes. there. At the end of the day, 
it's all about the people that are also in need of good quality houses out there. So it shows that with the contractors that we also have within the province, we can produce what is expected by our minister. Best Rural Project, Mati Madolo, KwaZulu Natal. Kwa Pumong, Free State. Dukwa, Eastern Cape. And the winner is <clears throat> Dukwa, Eastern Cape. What's special for you about winning this project? We have got a high rate of unemployment at Mbashe, high rate of poverty, but this has got made them a change on this. This has made a change for the people of Mbashe. We are so happy. The project was done before scheduled time, and it was done within the budget. And uh, we could see that it really changed the, land, the landscape of the, of the Eastern Cape. From talking to these winners, there is a clear sense that a lot of hard work and dedication went into their projects. It is only fitting that they be recognized and their work celebrated. After the break, we talk to more winners. Welcome back. Before we talk to more winners, here's Honorable Deputy Minister Zolkota Fredericks to give us her thoughts on the evening and the award. What would you say the impact of the awards has been? The awards have helped us as a monitoring tool, particularly on the aspect of delivering of quality houses to our people. What is the stick part uh, in terms of what the Department of Human Settlements is doing when there is no delivery? When we see that there's a short work, we back blacklist contractors, so they don't get work from government anywhere. Mm. But at the same time, we're putting pressure on provinces to give us numbers. And we are saying that the 1.5 million op housing opportunities have to, we need to deliver on that mandate, but we can only do so if provinces do their part. Let's not take too much of your time. Have an awesome evening. I'm sure it's going to be great. Thank you very much. Best Priority Project, Lady Selborne, Gauteng Province. Zanemvula Chetty, 1380, Eastern Cape. Enjo Engineering and Project Management, Free State. And the winner here is Zanemvula Chetty, 1380, Eastern Cape. The best informal settlement upgraded project award nominees are Sianda New Rest 369 Eastern Cape, Paula Bumalanga, Railton Smarty Town Project Western Cape. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Railstone Marty Town Project Western Cape. Enhanced People's Housing Process Project. Kwanongaba Combined PHP Western Cape. Mafikeng 200 Northwest. Valbank PHP Bumalanga. The winner is Mafikeng 200 Northwest. Best Institutional Housing Program. Best Institutional Project goes to Harmony Village, Western Cape. Best Integrated Residential Development Program, Fierwolf, Gauteng Province. Kwanoktula, Western Cape, Sunway Village, Northwest. Kwanoktula, Western Cape.
The three outstanding nominees are Motewa Construction, Mpumalanga, Kanana Park Extension 3, 4, and 5, Gauteng Province. Zikuli said cleaning, maintenance, and transport, KwaZulu Natal. Kanana Park Extension 3, 4, and 5, Gauteng. It's Women's Month, and you just won Best Woman Contract. How does it feel? Uh, the fact that when I do this work, I do it with the utmost passion. Mm. I do it with the hope that one day the rest of our country will be housed. Best Youth Contractor, TCT Civil Construction, Gauteng Province. Madimong Trading Service, Northwest. The winner in this category is Madimong Trading Services, Northwest. Tell me about uh, the project. What do you think made you win? Uh, we base our success on the dedication and passion we have for the industry. What does the award mean for you personally? Being nominated, it's a privilege on its own. Winning, it's just unexplainable. Yeah. It's unexplainable. <laughs> Best Metropolitan Municipality of the Year. City of Cape Town, Western Cape. Eteguini, KwaZulu Natal. Buffalo City, Eastern Cape. The winner is Eteguini Guazulu Natal. Best Performing Province of the Year. Mpumalanga, Guazulu Natal, Western Cape. The Maso Ceremony and I have worked out that we're going to pledge 5,000 Rand for anyone who's going to guess where this one goes to. <laughs> no, it is not the Western Cape. It is Guazulu Natal. <laughs> This is the biggest award tonight. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Extremely fulfilling. Uh, what is even better for us is that it's the second year running. Wow. So it's not a flash in the pan. It's the result of sustained work by a very strong team of people. What would you say are the key three things that make for a winning province in this way? Planning, planning, and planning. A man was born. He grew to study politics and psychology then took up the pen to expose the poor conditions of his people. For his efforts, he ended up on Robin Island for 24 years. Today, the name Govan Becky stands as a beacon of excellence in human settlements, so that when you receive your house, it stands strong and shows that you too are human and have dignity. Thank you so much for watching Breaking New Ground. Until next time. <laughs>